Heidi ho! <laughs> Hey perverts, welcome back to another edition of Tommy Likes It, here on the Rogue Toys YouTube channel. I'm your host, Tommy Purr, and this is the toy show where I talk about the toys that interest me, and the toys that I hope interest you as well. Now, as a big horror movie fan, I gotta tell ya, this toy itself really raises my interest. This toy that we have today is the NECA Retro Clove 7 inch ghost face figure from the Scream franchise. Retailing at $32.99 on the RogueToys.com website, as well as in our stores in Portland, Salt Lake City, and our three locations in Las Vegas, this figure pretty much has it all. Your voice changer, an alternate hand, where is it? <laughs> there it is. Alternate hand, the signature knife, some really stellar artwork that you can save. It's just a cardboard to insert, so once you open it up, pull the insert out, save it for your display, get it autographed by someone in the cast, tack it up on your wall, it's amazing because these of art with the retro style figures are always really really well done so kudos to you NECA for giving us some great packaging as always your core audience just expects it but more importantly I got one gripe I got one gripe about this figure there is no cell phone accessory explain that to me Ghostface terrorizes his or hers victims using a cell phone and yet we don't have a cell phone with this figure. Sorry if my traumatized life is an inconvenience to you and your perfect existence. That's a big miss for me. But it's not a miss that makes me hate this figure. I'm really excited to have him or her and add them to my collection because I'm a big Scream fan. I'm really excited for Scream 5. I'm even more excited that the original cast is coming back, or the survivors at least. I'm even more excited that Courtney Cox is not going to have those awful bangs from Scream 3. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I shouldn't have said anything. 2020 is not over yet, and I probably just put that out there in the universe. So if it happens, I'm sorry. Not my fault. I wasn't thinking. Stupidity leak. Please give Courtney Cox really good hair. Okay, so <laughs> we are gonna open up this figure. We're gonna take a closer look at articulation. We're gonna take a closer look at details. M missing cell phone accessory aside, I think this figure is pretty awesome. For you mint on card collectors, you can easily tack up the box on your wall to look at, to admire, to not play with, to not take photographs with. I don't know who hurt you guys, but let your toys breathe play with them. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys do you, okay? Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that you guys have enough willpower to hang this stuff on a wall and look at it all day long and not pose it, not open it. You guys are the real warriors in toy collecting, I gotta tell you. Me, I'm weak. So, with that in mind, let's get weak. Let's open up this bad boy or bad girl and take a closer look, shall we? Okay, let's move on. And here we go. Out of the package, we have Ghostface. What a great figure, you guys. Super awesome. Um, the hood is wired. So the neat thing about this figure is that I did uh, look Ghostface over before I set them up. The good thing about this figure is that you can totally remove the rope. And you can totally put the rope on another figure. So if you want to do photos of, like, who is the ghost face killer? It's Rose Nyland from Golden Girls. You can totally do that. And guess what? I am going to do that on my Instagram because no one would suspect Betty White. I'll oh, throw it out, you tubing burbles! <laughs> but I would because it's Betty White. So here we go here. Uh, this figure is... 
pretty standard when it comes to articulation. There are single jointed elbows, there's a bicep cut, there is a thigh swivel, there's a single jointed knee, there is an ankle joint, but you can't really, oh, you can actually, haha, <laughs> it loosened up. You can move the ankle, and there's a wrist joint and a swivel, so it goes this way, and it goes around. The head goes all the way around, the, the, let's adjust this camera a little bit, you guys, sorry about that. There we go. The head can look up pretty well, well yeah, as well as it possibly can, and but it can't look t down too far because the the chin gets in the way. The knife, thank goodness, is kind of rubbery because I have a habit of stabbing myself with all these accessories because they're too sharp. With that being said, with the camera focus there, with that being said, you could still kind of prick yourself to death if you wanted to but it's rubbery for the most part. The alternate hand fits really nicely in there. The knife fits snug. The voice changer's right there. It fits better in the original right hand that it comes packaged with. So uh, you're kind of gonna have to decide which one you want. <laughs> if you want Ghostface holding the voice changer or holding the knife, so. Yeah, you kind of have to decide, but it, with some with some um, persistence, this did fit in the hand. Again, I'm completely irritated that there is no phone accessory because look, like the, those face hands look like they are holding a phone. Like, come on, those face could have totally been holding the phone and the knife and been like, "Yo, what's your favorite scary movie?" But no, no phone accessory, which is annoying. But thankfully, I have so many accessories at home, I know I have one or two cell phone items, so that's not much of a, a deal breaker for me, so that's fine. The, the robe is really nice. It's really, uh, it's it's thick, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Well, I mean, it's, it's thicker up here, but of course it's a little bit thinner down here when we get to like the jagged edges. Uh, they did not cheap out on us. They gave us pants for Ghostface as well. If you hike up the pants, the whole body is painted black. So the shoes are painted brown, and the hands, the arms, the chest, which is bare and has lots of abs, <laughs> is all painted black. And then if you slip off the hood there, you've got kind of a molded underhood, also painted black. So it's a really well done figure. I really enjoy it. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this figure in photos and decorating for Halloween. And I love the drapery on the sleeves. That's definitely a plus for me. I'm really interested to see how the ultimate figure is going to look in person, uh, considering the robe looks like it's a little bit shorter, but this one has a, perfect, a perfectly sized robe. It's not draping on the floor. It shows us all the detail on the shoes, and it just seems to really complement the mold and the body. So definitely, definitely uh, Tommy likes it, yes, but Tommy really loves it. Would have loved it more with a phone, but I know you're probably done hearing me harp about that. <laughs> so it's okay, you know, um, no phone is completely okay, not a deal breaker. I would prefer having a badass robe and great molding and a really great face sculpt over having to include a cell phone. So, you know, pick your battles. That's all there is to it. The knife looks just like the one from the movie, so it's really good too. And yeah, if you're a horror movie fan, if you're a Scream fan, you'll be very, very, very happy with what they did with this figure. And show me your photos. Follow me on Instagram, tag me, and definitely uh, show me who your Scream victims are in your toy collection. And one other thing I will say is that, again, and this is a NECA issue, it's not just contained to this figure, sometimes they are a bit harder to stand. I'm going to move the camera so you can see. Like, look at this. Uh, to, for the male figures with these feet, you've got to like kind of stand them like this for their feet to be flat. But I, I don't want to. I want to do some dynamic posing. So I had his legs kind of spread. And you just gotta be careful because as I was doing it and preparing to film, they fell over. So just be careful. You might have to get a stand for the figure. And there's no peg holes on the feet. So a NECA stand won't work on this figure. You're gonna have to get like a doll stand from Hobby Lobby. So that's, an, that's 
one of the two minuses, one of the two gripes I have with this figure. Again, not a total deal breaker, I'll work around it, but it's for the price point in general. You know, for a NECA figure, I shouldn't have to get a doll stand to make my figure stand. You know what I'm saying? So, NECA, I need you to fix that. Or do what Marvel Legends d do and give us some, uh, some leeway on the ankles where they can move from side to side as well. Make it easier to stand. So, yeah, that's pretty much my only other gripe about this figure. You know? Um, for the price point, I think it's fair, but I also don't think for the price point that I should have to buy a doll stand to make sure that my really awesome detailed figure does not fall over and possibly break. So, yeah, just keep that in mind when posing and setting him or her on a shelf. And that concludes another edition of Tommy Likes It. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you'd like to purchase your own ghost face figure from NECA, you can do so on roguepoise.com for $32.99. Or you just come on into one of our stores and buy it personally from me or from a member of our really, really charismatic uh, team. <laughs> we have five locations. We have three in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have one in Portland, Oregon. And we have one in Salt Lake City. So come on in and visit us, and be sure to check out the Facebook Live Claim Show on our official Facebook page every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as Steve and Crystal, our, our bosses, our owners, uh, basically give you ridiculous discounts on, on items throughout all five locations. I mean, I mean, you guys will be getting discounts on stuff that is even bigger than the discounts we get as employees. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so definitely check out the show, bid on some items, and make sure you give me a follow, a like, a share with the video, and be sure to follow me on my social media, which I'll put down here. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Instagram, which is, I love using Instagram. You'll see all of my toys on Instagram. And if you look hard enough, you can find me on Facebook. <laughs> All right, guys. With that being said, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week, and be safe out there.